let's see what we find. Now, it's good to know that when you meet somebody, that it's not always a good idea to judge them by their appearance. And that's what this next story is all about. I'm gonna show you what's in here that makes me think of that story. I saw it when we had it opened up before. And I said, well, here it is. Look at this. It's a beetle. He's blue on one side and he's very beautiful on the other side. Look at that. And that's exactly the kind of story we're gonna tell. These are Brazilian beetles. And Brazilian beetles are very vivid colors, just like this beetle right here. In fact, they're so beautiful that oftentimes people will take their shell after the beetle has died and they'll make jewelry out of it because their shells are as beautiful as some jewels are. And so they will make pins or, or necklaces or rings even, whatever they can out of the beetle shell because it's so beautiful. Now the Brazilian beetle was not always that beautiful. No, no, at one time, the Brazilian beetle was just a plain old dull brown color. But it was okay because the beetle was happy. Well, one day, a little beetle was crawling along a path when all of a sudden, a big gray rat came running out of a hole and came running circles, circles, circles around the little beetle and then ran off down the road and did a little circle back and came back and came to a screeching off right in front of the little beetle. And the little beetle was practically exactly where he was when the rat had run off. And the rat said, my, 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 I don't know how you ever get anywhere. Look at you, you walk so slow. How did you ever get so slow? How do you ever get anywhere? Did you see how fast I could run? I am a fast-footed rat. You bet I am. Well, it so happened that there was a bright green and yellow macaw, that's a parrot, you know, that had been sitting on the mango tree just on the other side of the wall. And the, man, and the, the uh, macaw had heard all of this conversation. So he had an idea. He said, now, Mr. Rat, Mr. Beetle, here's an idea. Mr. Rat, since you think you are so, so fast, why don't we have a race and see who really is the fastest? And the rat went, ha ha, how could that beetle ever pass me by? And uh, McCall said, I have a prize for you. Whoever wins the race, I will have a coat made of the brightest colors you can think of. You can pick your own color, pick whatever color you want. And the rat began to think about it. He said, oh, what I would want, I would want a golden coat with black stripes, just like the tiger. Yeah, 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 that's what I want. And the beetle said, I think I would like uh, a gold and green coat. And the rat just laughed at him. <laughs> what? You can't possibly think you're gonna win this race, do you? <laughs> and the beetle said, well, we, we will see, we will see. So the macaw said, okay, I'll start you all off. I'll say, on your mark, get ready, go. And you run as fast as you can up to that tree up on the cliff and I'll be up there, I'll fly up there, and I'll be waiting for you. And we'll declare the winner, and whoever gets there first will get a new coat. So they both thought that was a wonderful idea, so they lined up at the starting point, and the McCall said, on your mark, get set, go! And they both took off running. Well, the rat was running just as fast as he could, running, 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 and the beetle was going just as fast as he could. And all of a sudden, the rat began to think, well, why am I running full out so fast? Because that beetle will never catch up with me. So he began to slow down. But as he ran slower, every heartbeat was saying, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So he began to run faster again. So he ran as fast as he could, finally got up to the tree that was on the cliff, and much to his surprise, there stood the little beetle next to the macaw. He was already there. He couldn't have 
been more shocked. He said, how in the world did you get here so fast? I ran as fast as I could. How did you get here? And the little beetle all of a sudden made a little movement with his body and two tiny wings came out from his sides. And he said, I flew here. Nobody said you had the rock walker run in this race and I flew here. So the macaw said, the beetle gets the coat. And he got a beautiful gold and green coat for the beetle. And that's how he looks to this very day. Now the whole story tells us it's never a good idea to judge people by their appearance because you have no idea what kind of gifts they have. And that's the story of the beetle, the Brazilian beetle. Now this has been fun for me. I hope it has been for you. And we're gonna have more stories at another time, I hope. But I'm gonna leave you with this little poem that I wrote. That's good that I wrote it in big letters because I don't have my glasses. <laughs> Listen to this. Hearts like doors will open with ease very very little keys and don't forget that two of these are I thank you and if you please you all be kind to each other and make good choices <laughs>